Hello everybody, welcome back to Taste of Reality. My name is Queenie, for those who don't know me. This is Love Island, season seven, episode 11. And y'all asked for drama, okay? You lot asked for the drama, and the drama has started. And I really can't take it, I really can't. Ooh, my phone. <laughs> my phone can't take it either. <laughs> Anyways, before I get into it, please make sure to like this video. Subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. Ooh, cha. Mm. Let's get into the mess. So the fallout between Sharon and Aaron continues. I think it's because, like, girls coming in and Aaron's with their, like, top pick. So he's just like, yeah. Basically, what sums up uh, Sharon's frustration is that Aaron was using Kappa excuses to end their situationship, relationship, whatever you want to call it. And we can all agree that they were not compatible. We know that. But his reasoning was definitely whack. And he's coming off as a gaslighter. He's coming off as... We just don't like him. I don't know about y'all, but I... I'm, I'm just not a fan of him at all. I'm glad it's done. Good riddance. Rachel is having a conversation with Bra Bra Blad. Brad and her plastered smile <laughs> is hilarious. I haven't had that feeling here. I haven't had that feeling outside of here for a long time either. Do you know what mm -hmm. I mean? It's clear that Brad, why do I want to call him Blad? It's clear that Brad only saw her as an opportunity and not an option. She was his meal ticket to stay in the house, but he was never really going to pursue her for real, for real. Because if he was, he would have had more of a conflict between wanting to pursue this next chick. But he was so quick to dash her to the side and be like, yeah, I'm fully in line with Lucinda. Never had intentions for Rachel at all. The next morning, baby girl is in tears again. And I'm like, girl, you're going to be 30, okay? We not crying over men no more. That's We don't do that. We don't do that. Especially not men like Brad, okay? I'm glad, though, that in the challenge, all she did was kiss him on the cheek because she she has known her worth. She knows her worth. She had a realization. Okay, she lost her senses for a bit there, but she's back, and she's going to move on. At least I hope so. So Chloe, ugh. Chloe comes out of the blue talking about she likes Toby. I just... I'm quite pleased with myself that you're interested. Do you know what I mean? Oh, I'll stroke your ego, yeah. Yeah, I needed that. Now, Toby's talking about how she's the most intriguing girl out of all the girls in the villa. I don't watch the unseen bits, but I'm gonna have to watch it this this weekend because what, 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 huh? Where is this coming from? Where is this coming from? And now he's talking about, you know, you've always been my type, blah, blah, blah. You see how men scary? You see how men are scary? You see how men are scary? Q Nella Rose. <laughs> scary. Y'all scary. scary. He's out here talking about how it will be a test. And they test for what? Test for what? Like Kaz is not going to be upset because, you know, our relationship hasn't been through anything. You don't, you don't like her. You don't like her. Don't now try to make it seem like, oh, it's not that bad. No, you know it's bad. You know it is. Or else you wouldn't be looking like a snake in the grass trying to hide behind. No, just, I don't even know. I don't even, I don't even have the words to express how I feel right now because I'm pissed. And then I tell myself, girl, you're pissed over Toby? <laughs> girl, ain't nobody losing sleep over that man. So Kaz is starting to see the shift between them and the challenge does not make it any better. Snake in the grass, so sly. Unfortunately, I did have to snog a man. I liked it. Honestly, the only upside to this is Love Island tends to bring somebody in when things are going awry with one of the couples. Or like, say somebody's saying, I want this type of person, I want this type of person. All of a sudden, that type of person comes in. Or if somebody is in a relationship that's going to the pits, they bring somebody in to add some spice. So that is the only plus side, th plus side that I have here. So the guy that they're bringing in, his name is Teddy, right? And we know he's black. But did anybody else notice that they use a filter on his rollout? Why are they trying to hide his ethnicity? What's what was what, what was what was the reason? I don't I don't get the point of using a filter. Nobody else has had a filter. It's looking fishy to me. 
So the cliques are starting to form and I'm just glad that my faves have chosen each other. All these these next three little girl gang business, I don't give a damn. My girls have chosen each other and I love it. If anything, she could have just been like, hey, that's not what that was. That so was a, that was a bit don't more. blindside me. Mm -hmm. Don't make me out like... I'm a mug. It's so funny when you hear the conversations that happen when things change because all of a sudden the people who were boosting up Toby to go and accelerate things with Kaz like all of a sudden are like well I never saw it there anyways. You never s scary. Scary. Now you never saw it and you you always knew it wasn't gonna work out in the outside. Oh, disgusting. And I'm sorry. I know Hugo was growing on people, but his humiliation, because the way that you be flip-flopping, sir, now I don't trust you. Now I don't trust you. And yeah, it's unfortunate you didn't get picked for the game, even for a sympathy. You know, Chloe could have picked you out of sympathy, but she didn't. And honestly, the way that you've been moving, with this back and forth, saying things and then changing your mind and then changing your mind and then changing your mind. I don't feel bad anymore. So Liberty pulls Jake for a chat and basically gives him an ultimatum. How do you not understand, Lib? No, I'm just, I'm, I'm, not... I'm protecting myself. It's nothing against you. you. I'm just protecting myself. Here go the guys again, flipping the script whenever they are in jeopardy. So now all of a sudden Jake is like, no, it's always been you. Da, 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 da. No, you've always said if there's somebody else who is my type who comes in, I'm going to pursue them. What the hell is your type? Blonde. Is Liberty not blonde? Is Liberty not blonde? But I appreciate Liberty basically saying, listen, I'm not going to I'm not going to give you my whole self when I know you're looking for the next opportunity. I'm not going to do that. It's really frustrating that he was able to make her fold by basically saying, no, it's you, it's you. It's not. It's not. So Liberty, please, please, please do not give this man your whole self. He does not deserve it. So now it's time for Kaz and Chloe to have a chat. And here Chloe goes with the lies. I genuinely didn't realise you had that much feelings. I knew you liked him, but I didn't realise your feelings like run a bit deeper than mm. what I thought, personally. Like, you're out here talking about, I love Kaz, I love Kaz, I love Kaz. If you love Kaz so much, then you would have known that it was deeper than just, oh, whatever. You kn You know. You know that. And I have to commend Kaz for really keeping her demeanor in check because I promise you, if it were me, I'm flipping tables. I'm swinging hands. Not over Toby, but you making me look stupid. That's really what I would be mad about. You making me look stupid. And then here goes Toby talking about how, you know, there is never any sexual chemistry and blah, blah, blah. Just, <laughs> oh my gosh. He looks like a dickhead. And I love this for him. I love this for him because I don't want you to get anybody now. You hurt Kaz? No success for you no success for you now in the evening here goes chloe lying again I heard mind. my name Stay over. heard my name do you know what you, what most people in here we talk about each other so get on with your conversation i'm gonna get on with mine fine thank you faye is giving absolute realness and she's putting chloe in her place like first of all first of all mind your business mind your business everybody talks about everybody but we weren't even talking about you. And I also commend Rachel for stepping away from that situation because she was like, listen, mm, this, I'm having no parts. I'm having no parts. In the spirit of confrontations, Kaz takes Toby aside. <laughs> and here goes Toby. Your main point is, you. there's something stopping you when it comes to us, so you don't know what it yeah. is, and you want to get to know Chloe. Yeah. I like that she, when he asked her, do you get what I mean? Because he was kind of beating around the way. She was like, no, explain it to me. Because she requires him to speak straight with her. Don't be trying to, don't be trying to, trying to soften things up. Don't sugarcoat anything. No, you know what you're trying to say. So say it. Don't make me look stupid. I'm too grown for that. I wish to God. <laughs> I wish that she did not go and relay the message to Sharon in Aaron's presence because Aaron has shown to be a wishy-washy kind of person. And I know he said, I'm close with Kaz, but I'm also close with Toby. And it doesn't matter. You like to say one thing in people's face and a different thing behind their back. So no, 
no not with it at all she has self-proclaimed herself as now single yes queen yes queen your king is coming if not on the show out of the show it never was going to be toby and we never were going to be with it so bye yes i got all this attitude because kaz is my sister <laughs> kaz Kaz is literally my sister okay here's Zimbabwe here's Zambia she's literally my sister I just mm, mm. let me calm down let me calm down so uh Toby and Chloe go on the freaking terrace they have a moment or whatever I just I can't be bothered I can't I can't I can't I just ugh, gross gross I don't want to see this relationship any of it I don't, whether it succeeds or fails, I don't, I don't care for it at all. Anyways, tomorrow night, we're going to see who this Teddy character is. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Bye.